Hello and welcome to this how-to video for Instant ID. In this video I will be demonstrating how to use the database cleaner utility to reduce the size of your truecredential.h2.db file which is used by Instant ID. If this file is left to grow significantly in size it has the potential to affect the performance of Instant ID. The database cleaner utility reduces the size of this file and improves performance of Instant ID. The utility comes in a zip folder. Once the contents are extracted, it is strongly recommended to review the README file before using the utility. The utility consists of a class file and two batch files. The manual batch file is used for manual operation of the utility. The other batch file can be scheduled as a Windows task. The utility reduces the size of the truecredential.h2.db file by deleting data from the following tables, as well as removing white space. The database cleaner utility can be used with the following true credential and instant ID versions. There are also some important notes highlighted. It is critically important that the utility be executed by a Windows user account that has administrator permissions and the utility be run by right clicking and choosing run as administrator. Failure to do so will result in the utility running but the truecredential.h2.db file not reducing in size. Some important recommendations and best practices are highlighted here. Instructions to automate the utility by configuring it as a scheduled Windows task. And also instructions to run the utility manually. Advice is provided for the handling of failures or exceptions, both during the automated process and the manual operation of the utility. And finally, advice is provided for utility logging and database backup in the event that utility troubleshooting is required. To run the utility manually, right click on the database cleaner manual batch file and select run as administrator and a command prompt window will open. You are presented with two options. Press 1 to continue using the utility with a warning that the Instant ID services will be stopped or press 2 to exit. As soon as you enter your value, that option will be actioned. I pressed 1 and the utility is now stopping the Instant ID services and is creating a backup of my current truecredential.h2.db file which is located here. You are presented with two more options. Pressing 1 will delete data from all of the tables listed. Pressing 2 will allow you to manually select the tables that you wish to delete data from. For example, you may wish to retain the data held in the audit table. For this first example, I'll enter the value 1 to delete data from all tables. The process of deleting the data can take anywhere from a few minutes to even over an hour depending on the size of your truecredential.h2.db file. Once all data is deleted from the tables, the utility then removes white space from the database. Once the process is complete, you are presented with two more options. Press 1 to restore your original database in case of any exceptions or failures during the cleanup process, or press 2 to exit. The utility then restarts the Instant ID services, which can take up to a couple of minutes to complete. I have speeded up this process for the purposes of this video. 
Once the services have restarted, you should notice that your truecredential.h2.db file has reduced in size. In this example, I wish to manually select the tables that I wish to delete data from. So I enter the value 2, press enter. I'm presented with the list of tables that I can choose to delete data from. Some tables have dependencies. For example, I cannot delete data from batch history without also deleting data from batch history job. In my example, I do not wish to delete data from the audit table. So I begin by deleting data from the batch history and batch history job tables. Then I delete data from the print job and print job data tables. Then I choose to delete data from the external batch data table. And finally, I delete data from the print job statistics table. I then press E and enter to exit. The utility then removes white space from the database. And I am provided with the same options as before. One, to restore the original database to to exit. Again, once the instant ID services have restarted, my database has reduced in size. In this final example, we will schedule a Windows task to use the database cleaner batch file. It is recommended to schedule the task at a time that does not disrupt normal operating hours which also allows sufficient time for the utility to reduce the database in size. To begin, click on the Windows icon and type in Task Scheduler and select the Task Scheduler app. Next, select the Task Scheduler library branch and under Actions, click Create Task. Alternatively, you can right click select Create Task. Once the Create Task window opens, give your task a name of your choice. Under Security Options, check the box Run whether user is logged on or not and check the box Run with highest privileges. Next, select Change User or Group search for and select a Windows user account that has administrator permissions. Next, click on the Actions tab and then click New. When the New Action window appears, from the Action drop-down list select Start a Program, click the Browse button Browse to C Drive, Windows, System32 folder and select the cmd.exe file and click Open. In the Add Arguments box, enter forward slash, capital C, space, followed by the full file path location and name of the database cleaner batch file. In my example, I am copying the file path location and pasting it into the box to avoid mistakes. I then copy the name of the batch file and paste it into the box after entering a backslash after the end of the file path location. In the Start In box, enter the full file path location of the database cleaner batch file. Again, I am copying and pasting to avoid mistakes. Once complete, click OK, click on the Conditions tab and check the box Wake the computer to run this task. Then click on the Triggers tab and click 
when the new trigger window appears, under the Begin the Task drop-down list, select On a Schedule, check the box Weekly, and select the date and time at which you wish the utility to be run for the first time. Then select the day you wish the task to be run each week. Once complete, click OK, click OK again, and you are prompted to enter the password for the Windows user account configured to run the task. Your new task is in the task list. When the scheduled task begins, the utility runs in the background. No command prompt window is displayed. As you can see here, a backup of the database is created. On the right hand side is the current database. The utility deletes data from the tables and removes white space. Once complete, the instant ID services are restarted and the database is reduced in size. Again, the process has been speeded up for the purposes of the video. For any issues encountered during use of the cleanup utility, please refer to the README file. You can also view the log file created by the utility. If you wish to escalate an issue with the utility to Entrust Support, please provide the log file to the Entrust Support team. Lastly, it is important to maintain the DB Backup folder, which contains the backups of your databases. Each time you use the utility, a backup of your database is created. That completes this demonstration. Thank you for watching.